Hey, we welcome Terry Gogan. Terry Gogan is a friend. He's uh, also a hockey player at Middlebury College. And uh, he came and visited us a little while ago um, by way of a mutual contact. So uh, we wanted to kind of review his experience in terms of uh, how he got in touch with Sparks and uh, what his thoughts are today. So welcome. Thank you uh, Thanks for, for coming back. Yep, Thanks yep. for coming back. So tell us a little bit about how this all came to be that you ended up visiting Sparks. Right, and so uh, the mutual friend wanted me to check out this uh, this allegedly really good uh, skate sharpening company that was building skate sharpeners that were automatic. And to be completely honest, I was a little skeptical at first. Uh, I remember that you know in in the rinks growing up, there was some vending machine ones where you throw in a couple bucks and it gave you a half decent skate job. So I was very skeptical. Um, and you guys completely turned me over. Uh, I walked in and got my skates done, and the next day I skated and I. Couldn't believe it. So yeah. we were really excited to yeah. get your feedback, but it also um, came came across really well to us because you mm -hmm. have a background in sk right. like skate sharpening. And so um, at Middlebury College where I play, I also um, do some skates uh, here and there for the team because uh, we all take turns doing skates and I was, uh, I was assigned to do some skates this year and uh, I know firsthand how much of a pain in the butt it can be to, to sort of know every guy's likes and dislikes and, and everyone's um, how they like their skates done so it's I, I have definitely had some experience my dad has a skate sharpener and I'm the oldest of six children so I've learned to you know sharpen skates um, growing up and my dad is, has been he's very regimented and likes his skates on a very specific way and so that's sort of partially why I was so skeptical to begin with is that I had such a, a background in it. Right, and right. knowledge sometimes, right. yeah. And so when you came in, were there specific things that you were looking for in the sharp, in the sharpening, like in the result? Right, and so, um, you know, after every sharpening, I, I have my little magnet that I throw on and, and make sure it's level. Um, and, you know, uh, you guys had the magnet ready to go when, I, when you, we were done with the sharpening. I, you know, matched it up, and it was perfectly flat. And it was just, I couldn't believe it, because that's the one thing you know, my, myself and my dad always, you know, when, whenever my dad can't do them and he has to get them done at the rink, say I lose an edge during a game or my little brother loses an edge during a game, we always go home and check it up and it's like this or like this or, you know, it doesn't even stay on. Um, and that's the biggest problem, I think, is, is having a level sharpening and I, you know, having a robot do it, it's definitely, <laughs> it makes it level, so it was, it was perfect. That's the one thing I definitely was most impressed with is the level sharpening. Cool. Yeah. And in terms of what your expectations were, like mm -hmm. when Peter Blackwell was the person right. who introduced us, uh, when he sort of explained to you what mm -hmm. we were up to, did you have a vision in your mind of what you were walking so into? So he first said it. If you if you remember these 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 uh, automatic skate sharpeners, they're the size of a, like a Coke dispensing machine. You know, it's like a big you know big box like the size of these lights, and you would. You know, you put your skate in and you could see, you know, it would be clear glass, but you could sort of see the sharpening and, it, you know, it's in there and you really can't get a look at the bottom of it and you don't really know what's going on, but you can see the top of the skate and I was just like, ugh. Because it was like the running joke at the at the practices, like, oh, someone's got to go get their skate sharpened on the machine. And, right. <laughs> um, and so that my expectation was a, as a big machine and then he's like, no, no, it's not like that. It's... I came in and it's different seeing on a video between in person. It's the size of a printer, yeah, you know. Yeah. It, you could literally put it in your kitchen next to your toaster and it would look normal, <laughs> you know. Um, so I couldn't believe um, to the size of it and the sheer in this how quiet it is too. Right. Is is with the two big things that blew me away. Very good. Yeah. And then finally, when you got onto the ice, mm -hmm. like you know, what were you looking for? What what did you kind of do to kind of test out the edge? Right. And so to be completely completely honest I skated and I got off and my dad's like so how how were they and I was like what do you mean he goes well you got them done by sparks and I was like oh my god you're right I had I could not tell a difference between my dad who's been sharpening skates since I was a little kid between sparks and and then I got back on and I was like wow this is great you know every edge was you know catching it perfectly and I didn't feel like it was falling over on balance and, and the, the pitch was great and it was five eighths, just so I like like I like it, and you know you guys screwed on the five eighths in less than five seconds, and that that's you gave me a perfect five eighths edge, and it was it was great. So I couldn't believe it, and it was uh, it was it was really something.
Nice. Yeah. And and what are you, what were your thoughts in terms of sort of the future of Sparks and what how it might impact you know, like, I, the game? I think that you know, for for families, it's perfect for them. Um, they can have it, you know, in their kitchen, in their mudroom or whatever, and they can sharpen it in both skates in less than, you know, two minutes, five minutes. Um, and so, I, I mean, I can see this in every family's home and every um, team bringing on the road trip. I can see, you know, Middlebury College bringing it on the road trip. We have, we have to carry this huge, huge, um, you know, carryable skate sharpener that takes like three guys to carry in and out of ranks. And I can just see one guy holding a Sparks one, you know, right. bringing it in and out of ranks, and uh, it'd be perfect. It would save Rowan the bus. I mean, <laughs> right. it's it, it's it's definitely the sharpener of the future. Perfect. Well, thank you. Yeah. We really appreciate you I coming back. Of we course. Never Great to be uh, here. Yeah, and good luck. Thank you.